Find the measure of an angle if its supplement measures 10 degrees more than three times its complement. Let's start by defining our variable, and let's let x represent the measure of our unknown angle. Now we're given um, wording that refers to the supplement and the complement, so let's also describe those using this variable x. Complementary angles sum to 90 degrees. Therefore, the complement of angle x can be given as 90 minus x. So let's let 90 minus x represent the measure of the complement. Supplementary angles sum to 180 degrees. So let's let 180 minus x represent the measure of the supplement of angle x. Now we're ready to write our equation. We're told that the supplement measures 10 degrees more than three times its complement. So the supplement 180 minus x measures or is equal to 10 degrees more than three times its complement, 90 minus x. We've written our equation, now let's solve it. Rewriting the left, and let's simplify on the right by distributing the three into parentheses. So the right becomes 10 plus, three times 90 is 270, minus three times x. Let's next simplify on the right still by combining our numerical values. 10 plus 270 is 280. Now let's get our x terms together. I'm going to add 3x to both sides. So a positive 3x and a negative x is 2x. And at the same step, I'm going to subtract 180 from both sides. So 280 minus that 180 is 100. Lastly, dividing by 2 gives x is equal to 50. Let's go ahead and write that as 50 degrees. Now we've solved the problem, but let's quickly check. If an angle's measure is 50 degrees, then its supplement is 180 minus 50 or 130 degrees. And is that supplement indeed equal to 10 degrees more than three times its complement? If an angle is 50 degrees, its complement is going to be 40 degrees. Is this a true statement? Is 130 equal to 10 plus 120? Yes, it is. That's a true statement, so we can feel very comfortable that our angle measure is indeed 50 degrees.